And it is a gorgeous Sunday in Martinsville as blue skies and sunshine bathe this half mile paper clip as we get ready for the NASCAR Cup Series Cookout 400 from the Martinsville Raceway. Pace car is pulled off. The field comes towards the green flag. Kyle Larson and Daryl Wallace Jr. on the front row, and it's time to drop the hammer at Martinsville. We are underway on the paper clip with Kyle Larson putting a nose in front in turn two. That ruby red 40th anniversary livery coming out of turn two. It's Larson ahead and a car link behind him. It's Bubba, Bubba Wallace in second, Chase Elliott in third with Martin Truex coming around the second groove. Truex went a little wide on the exit of turn four. It allows Chase Briscoe to get to his inside and make the pass. That puts Briscoe up into fourth. Coming around out of turn two, Joey Logano picking up uh, a spot there, trying to battle for fifth on Martin Truex Jr. on the outside. He's not going to give him a nudge. Meanwhile, Josh Berry behind them. He wants a piece of this action as they roll through turn four. Mentioned Berry in that gold Mobile One Mustang right in behind this battle between Truex and Logano, who were up front late last week, of course. Yeah, here they come off the back straight. Joey Logano, Hamlin, and Byron and a gaggle here for 6th, 7th, and 8th. Uh, Hamlin peeks out on the outside of Joey Logano, will not be able to make him as they get to the stride. Byron inside of Hamlin. Yeah, but Hamlin was trying to go around the outside, couldn't get the traction to do it, and here comes Byron. Here they are wall to wall on each other. Hamlin on the outside, Byron on the inside. It's a drag race here to turn three. And Byron going to roll that corner on the inside behind Joey Logano in the 22 oh. pins oil machine. Oh, and Byron and Hamlin came together on the exit of four. They're being slowed up here by David Starr. Hamlin getting oh. very impatient. Gives Starr a shot up the banking in turn two. Yeah, David Starr, he has to know he can't be down low like that. They're going to say, get out of the way. Very a little more rudely the second time. Byron and Hamlin side by side. Byron edging out here on turn four and Logano pulling away. And, and as I mentioned, Hamlin trying to make that outside lane work and he's holding his ground up there for now. Yeah, Hamlin is just keeping up here with Byron as Logano is in front. Now getting the edge out. It gets that rear tire on his front, and they'll be side-by-side -side out of four. Larson is getting some lap traffic here from uh, 71 of Zane Smith, it appears to be. But Bubba able to get about two car links as they head back to the line. Hamlin and Logano making contact further back as Larson has started the last lap of the stage. Zane Smith in the way, Larson and Bubba. Bubba trying to get on the inside. This is the time to make your move. Does he do it? Yes, he does. Diamonds to the corner, into three, and coming back to four. Here they come up out of turn number four. Wallace gets alongside Larson, but then Larson gets the launch up out of turn four. He will take the green and white checkered flag to score his fourth stage win of the season. We get set for a restart with Joey Logano on the front row as the control car. Green flag up in the air, and we're back to racing, and Logano gets a good shot in the shorts at the back door from Daryl Wallace Jr. as Logano leads to two. Meanwhile, on the outside row, it's Larson and Elliott, the Hendrick teammates. Truex behind him and Bowman behind him. Logano prefers the inside lane going into three. Puts Bowman in a bind there with Larson behind him. He'll duck to the inside out of four. Going to be interesting to see Logano after taking two tires to get track position. How does that car handle here at the front? Yeah, able to confirm that. That's what got him that track advantage there. And now Bubba peeking on his tail and going to keep up with him as Larson goes back with the other rest of the pack into the corner. Out of it, it's it's Logano and Bubba for the point. Meanwhile, how does Larson's car react in some traffic here as he runs in third and battling Denny Hamlin? Christopher Bell, he's lost uh, tires here on the right front. It seems he has just brushed the wall. He'll come back out of turn four to the Geico restart zone. Definitely something wrong there on the Christopher Bell machine. So that's the first caution for incident in the cookout 400. Back on USRN and just in time for the restart. Joey Logano accelerates quickly in the restart zone from Daryl Wallace Jr. And we're back underway with Logano leading the way to turn two. Lap 40 of stage two, side by side, out of turn two. Joey Logano gets the advantage. Meanwhile, behind them, it's Bubba and Hamlin side by side for second. Hamlin is going to that second groove again. Now just barely gets that quarter panel off of Logano, not able to hold on to it. And Bubba likes that very much because it's able means he's able to get closer to him. Yeah, Hamlin gets right to him and moves him in turn one. Up the racetrack goes Logano. Hamlin looks for the lead. Hamlin loves that bump and run. He's going to use that all over Joey Logano. Logano hanging on the outside, not going to let him have it. 
in dominating through three and four, it's the advantage, Hamlin. Now Logano comes back on the outside, puts his nose in front, but Hamlin on the fresher tire should have the advantage inside of two. It was side by side. Now Hamlin pushing his way through, able to clear Logano. Will he go back up to cover? No, he will not. Still going to give Logano a chance to activate the pressure on the outside. Second lane, not going to fire back out of four. Now Hamlin gets clear of Logano as they race back to turn number one, and Hamlin leads with 10 to go in the stage. Green and white checkered flag down on Denny Hamlin for his second stage win of the season. Wallace is second again, just as he was in stage one. Larson third, Elliott fourth, and Logano just held held on to take fifth at the flag as Denny Hamlin and Chase Elliott will be on the front row with Hamlin the control car. Let's see when he goes in the restart zone. That wasn't a conversation over the week. He will wait quite a bit before he hits the accelerator and we're back underway and Elliott is right with him. They're nose to nose for the lead heading to turn two. Hendrick teammates on the outside. It's Hamlin and Bubba on the inside. Hamlin gets a back edge on Chase Elliott as Elliott has the nose out on front into turn three. He's going to take the lead here if he can at the stripe. He will do it and that will bring the crowd to their feet. Chase Elliott from the outside of row one takes the lead at Martinsville a half dozen of them or more here and Kyle Busch makes contact with Austin Sendrick and we've got trouble behind and that'll bring out the caution. yellow uh, all kinds of contact in turn two but the caution I think is actually because of Christopher Bell on the exit of turn four yellow is out and the reason for the other caution uh, that's <laughs> not scheduled was also Christopher Bell in that right front we go back green just past halfway Chase Elliott leading and a fair advantage there for the Dawsonville, Georgia drivers. <laughs> the fans let them know about it. Denny Hamlin on the car link behind and Bubba Wallace in tow. There is Kyle Larson on the outside lane. Yeah, Larson using that outside to get clear of Alex Bowman. So Larson slots in fourth behind Elliott, Hamlin, and Wallace. Well, Hamlin seems to have a good long run car. And here he is deep into this run, gaining, gaining, gaining on Chase Elliott. And the gap is certainly closing as they go back to turns one and two. Hamlin is there. Jeff Gordon eyeing this battle closely for his protege, Chase Elliott, as Hamlin is going down on the near side on turn three. Not able to find. Now he finds the low side on Elliott as they come out of four. Elliott gets the drive on the exit of the corner, stays in front, but Josh Williams, the lap car just in front of these two, he might be the one who determines who wins this battle. He will. He's going to use him as a pick, and yes, he gets stopped there. Hamlin goes on the inside. Three wide. Chase is going to make it through the middle, and he's going to have the advantage. Hamlin nosing out there out of four what a move behind them Daryl Wallace Jr. got wide trying to get by Williams that allows Larson to go after Wallace but let's pick up the battle for the lead and it is hot and heavy off two and some contact made there out of two between Hamlin and Elliot as you would expect Elliot with the advantage going into three as Hamlin keeps it glued to the bottom as they come out of four back to the stripe. Well, these two had a rather famous coming together here a handful of years ago, and they might come together here in this scrap for the lead. Remember it quite well, 2017, the first time we saw some real frustration out of the young Chase Elliott, now older and champion, seasoned more now as he's battling Denny Hamlin, who has yet to win his first cup title. They are still door-to-door, wheel-to-wheel, nose-to-nose for the top spot. Elliott around the outside, Hamlin digging deep on the bottom. It is getting really intense right here, Matt. You'd think something would have to give as they are just continuing side by side and Hamlin falling back. He might be uh, giving up some ground here to save some tire. We'll see as they come out of four. Hamlin hugging that curb on the bottom of the track. Elliott gets the drive on the exit. He leads by half a car length at the line. Hamlin comes back at him. Just not able to clear him. Hamlin on the inside, Elliott on the outside, hugging on that wall, getting all the side force he can. Now throwing themselves into turn three, and Elliott trying to get that second groove working, still not able to get it done. Yeah, Elliott now with a nose in front, but Hamlin just can't seem to make this pass. Finally, Hamlin gets the drive on the exit of the corner from the bottom and clears Chase Elliott. Hamlin back to the lead. We do have some of the leaders hitting pit road. William Byron's in, Chase Elliott is in, so too is Kyle Larson and Daryl Wallace. And actually here on the main straightaway, Chase Elliott has gotten back by Denny Hamlin through the cycle of stops and they're side-by-side -side in turn two. 
That's unbelievable. Here they are again, Chase and Hamlin out of two. In front of them, Kyle Busch, as these cycles keep making their way through. Briscoe, the leader as it stands, but he's got to come in along with Austin Sendra. Elliott goes to turn one, gets oh. into Ricky Stenhouse Jr., knocks him up into John Hunter Nemechek, domino style. Everyone keeps it pointed the right direction. So Byron has gotten back, by, uh, gotten by Hamlin this, uh, here, so this has not gone well for the 11. So Byron has completed the pass on Elliott in what will be the battle for the lead. Byron now is ahead of Elliott and Larson. Three to go for William Byron. He's only got a mile and a half to go. Here he comes, rounding out at turn two. He's going to clear John Hunter Nemechek going across this Martinsville Railroad track backstretch into turn three. Looking at the caution light. Being careful oh. as he comes out of four, yellow. Oh, my goodness. It's the one he just passed. John Hunter Nemechek into the wall oh, in no. turn three. The caution is out. Can you possibly believe it? Unfathomable. I can't even say that word right now for Jeff Gordon. For uh, you, any, I mean, come on. You knew it was coming. Oh, my gosh. Everybody. Ejected. Everybody in the ruby red hanging their heads they can't believe it here we go byron and elliot on the front row green flag in the air byron waited very late to get on the accelerator and elliot was ready and they're door to door for the lead in two it was a huge push from ryan blaney now byron clears chase elliot just almost and now yes he will elliot will help him out here on the inside going into three and four behind him it's side by side with ryan blaney and kyle larson contact elliot into the back of byron couldn't get him up out of the groove byron leads at the white flag elliot charges to his outside looking for the win out of two, it's Elliott slipping and sliding off the corner. William Byron gets a three-car advantage, four-car advantage as he heads into three. Diamonds through three and four, takes it back to the stripe. William Byron up out of turn four. Checkered flag in the air at Martinsville. William Byron for Hendrick Motorsports wins on their 40th anniversary celebration at a place that has created so many heroics and heartbreak for Hendrick Motorsports. William Byron wins it at Martinsville in the 40th anniversary celebration weekend. His ruby red slippers have been tapped and he's heading home to victory lane on the main straightaway at Martinsville. And in the first time in 151 races at Martinsville, they still get that one, two, three sweep for Hendrick Motorsports on the 40th anniversary, even after that late race caution. Unbelievable.